Last month, hackers calling themselves the Impact Team breached servers belonging to AshleyMadison.com, a website that touts itself as the premier forum for cheating spouses who want partners for infidelity. The hackers, according to a document they released at the time, took issue with the site assisting cheaters. They also took issue with what they considered to be fraudulent business practices. For a $19 fee, Ashley Madison offered a service whereby the site promised to delete all of a customer's account and account activity. But the hackers said the site lied, and although the data was deleted from the public-facing part of the site, the company retained the data on its back-end servers. The hackers made a single demand after the breach occurred. They demanded that Avid Life Media, the Canada-based parent company of Ashley Madison, take down the Ashley Madison site, as well as another site the company operates called Established Men. This site was designed to connect young beautiful women with sugar daddies who would support their lifestyle. The hackers deemed this essentially prostitution. If Avid Life Media failed to take down the two sites, the hackers warned, they would release customer data. And that's exactly what happened this week. On Tuesday, they released 9.7 gigabytes of data online. The data includes names, addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, and usernames and passwords for some 36 million accounts, as well as details about the sexual preferences of account holders and the kinds of partners they were seeking. Among the emails released were about 15,000 with .mil and .gov domains, though it's not clear if the accounts are legitimate government email accounts or if the people who use them to open the Ashley Madison accounts are the real government workers who own the account. The data released also contained millions of credit card transaction details going back to 2007. Although the data didn't include full credit card numbers, it did include names and addresses for people who owned the cards. It's not clear how much of the data released is valid. Ashley Madison didn't require real names and addresses for members, so members supplied bogus email addresses and other data in some cases. But the payment card transactions would have required real names if the buyers used real credit cards and not prepaid cards that offer anonymity.